Hello, everybody. And today is a super duper exciting day. But before I get into any of that, I want to apologize so much for my audio. You might hear trucks and stuff in the background. Also, this is going to sound super echoey. I am literally in the process of moving in right now. Like I have nothing but a microphone and a computer. <laughs> I don't have a chair. I don't have a desk. Who needs a desk? So if this sounds awful, I'm very, very, very sorry. But I was way too excited to not make this video. So let's go ahead and get into these changes. We're going to be talking about the control changes coming with Destiny 2. And there's actually quite a significant amount of changes, which I did not expect. I had no clue what changes they could do to control. So let's go ahead and start with the first change that A and C are now pre-capped. These flags, you no longer have to spawn and get them for your team. They are already capped. So now what's going to happen is that it's going to force people to go straight to B or go to the enemy flag and kind of kickstart some action and put the team in the same place a lot quicker. Because I'm sure we've all been in those situations where our entire team is capturing our home flag and we are the only one going to B and we're just there left alone to die. So this is going to try and force people to play a little bit closer together and play more as a team. Now the next change is that there's no more neutralizing of flags. As soon as you step on a flag, it is going to start to capture it. The reason for this is again to just make it a little bit more action packed, keep you in the action fighting people more than just standing on a flag. Lars said specifically that no one really finds it particularly fun just standing on a capture flag forever. So that is a change that's supposed to make control just a little bit more fun. Now the way that you capture flags has also changed a little bit. The time has changed. They didn't give any specifics on that, but the way that it used to work with capturing flags is the more people on the flag, the faster it is going to capture. Now that's not the case. And the reason that they did this is because they wanted people to be able to back up their homie and stand nearby and, and shut down those choke points and their homie can go and capture the flag instead of having everyone concentrated in one area. So hopefully this will make people get in into the action a little bit faster. It'll allow me to help my friend by killing people and not actually make us not capture the flag faster. Cause I do that a lot. I play the support for my team who's capturing. And a lot of the time, I don't know if that's a good decision because killing people is good and protecting my team is good, but not capturing the flag fast is bad. <laughs> now, another thing that has changed is the way that points work. So the way that it's going to work is when you have one flag captured, you're going to get one point when you kill someone. When you have two flags captured, you're going to get two points when you kill someone. And when you have three, you will have three points when you kill someone. So that's changed up a little bit. Also, the match time length has changed. Matches are now eight minutes so they're a little bit shorter and i think all of these changes in general have kind of pushed people towards having a more action-packed fast-paced game you're going to be capturing faster you don't have to capture the home plate you can go straight to b so i think it's in general just to make control be just a lot more action-packed and a lot more fun now also we got to take a look at the map we're gonna be playing in the beta and it looks beautiful it is called endless veil vale, and it is on the brand new destination called nessus so we get to also have a little bit of a glimpse at nessus which is definitely very vexy like there's a lot of vex architecture there's a lot of red vegetation which we see on vex stuff a lot so we get to see our first little look at nexus as well nexus it's not called nexus it's called nessus and we also get to take a look at the control the new control on this brand new map so this is the map we're going to be playing in the beta i am super duper duper excited to play all of this i can't believe the day that i'm moving is the day where all the cool stuff comes out and now you guys get to listen to me sound awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I am so excited to play all of this. This is what we're going to be playing in the beta. This new control, the Nessus map called Endless Veil. Vale. And I am personally very, very excited. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the changes to control. Do you like it? Do you think you preferred old control? In my opinion, it just seems like the same control. But the changes have kind of made us 
be able to be in the action a little bit more, a little bit faster, and not just be purely focused on sitting my ass on a flag for like 20 minutes to capture it. So I think they're good changes. It sounds like the good control that we know and love, but just making it a little bit more action packed. So that is going to do it for the video. I will be covering everything that's coming out of IGN sitting on the floor, making my legs hurt. It's fine. I love you guys, and I will speak to you awesome people later. Bye.